Hey everybody, Joe Workman here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking over the gallery solution inside Total CMS. Now we're gonna look at the gallery and the slideshow since they're very tightly coupled, right? Now galleries are very powerful because a lot of times our users wanna be able to upload images to their websites, right? And there are a lot of solutions out there that allow us to upload things from Flickr and you know use those sorts of things, right? But Total CMS gives us a centralized place on their website to manage images. So this is very powerful. And not only can we display things as a gallery, but also slideshows, and we'll see that. And look out, in the future, we're gonna have further integrations uh, with other stacks, such as our Impact Stack that really fully integrates in to the galleries in, in Total CMS. And you can display the galleries completely inside uh, Impact. So it's really cool. Check out that integration. We have a video on that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and look at what galleries in Total CMS can do for us. So here we have the Total CMS demo file that ships with Total CMS and you can download anytime from our documentation portal. And what you'll notice here is inside the demo file, we already have some galleries set up. Now here in the gallery on the content side, if you notice we have thumbnails and then we can click on that thumbnail and navigate through all of the images uh, inside of our gallery, okay? Um, we can also display our galleries as slideshows. Now administering these slideshows is really simple. If we go onto our admin page here, we'll see that we have a grid on our admin page that has all of the images that are within our gallery. If we wanna add images to the gallery, all we need to do is drag and drop as many images as we want and then the CMS will take care of uploading all those images, creating the thumbnails for us, and you know adding them to our gallery. Now what you'll notice inside the admin areas, uh, when you hover over the images, we have a few options, right? Obviously the trash can can delete an image, okay? Uh, the copy image path, this allows us to get the warehouse URLs to all three images, the full resolution as well as the thumbnails for every image in our gallery. Okay, and then you can use these uh, URLs in any, really any stack that you want, okay? And then also lastly is the tag button, and this allows us to update the alt tag information uh, for that particular image. Now what's cool is if you were to add alt tags to an image, you could actually display those alt tags as a caption, okay, inside the gallery light box. So that's really cool. So let's go ahead and jump into edit mode and see how to create these galleries and administer them. <clears throat> so here we are in edit mode for our admin page. And the setup for this is pretty simple, okay? Uh, we have uh, our CMS ID, like we have for every single CMS stack, okay? And this is gonna be the ID for our gallery. Uh, you have a placeholder, which allows, is the filler text that tells people what you want them to do, you know, drag and drop your image here. Um, next, we have gallery alt. Now this is a default alt tag that can be added to new images in the gallery. So if you put in, you know, my gallery image, um, every new image that gets uploaded will get this default alt tag. Okay, if you have one defined. Next is max height. And what this is, is the max height of the gallery in the admin area. So if you look, we have this currently set to 500 pixels. And if we preview this page, you'll notice that the gallery is actually inside of a fixed container, okay? This is done so that when the gallery grows past that, that defined max height, it will actually create this little static height container so that users can scroll through and see all of their images. Okay, this is great when you don't necessarily want the gallery to take up like tons of space if there are, you know, 100 images inside the gallery. Now, the next setting here is for resize logic, and I'm going to revisit this in just a minute. Um, we're going to skip this and let's go to the next one. The next settings here are for defining the image quality and how the CMS is actually going to resize images for you. Okay, so you'll notice that we have image quality. And this is gonna be your JPEG compression, okay? So when an image is uploaded, what sort of compression is the CMS gonna give the image, um, you know, so that it actually reduces the file size down, 
okay? Now, we can also define the actual width or the sizes of our image for the image, the thumbnail, and the square thumbnail, okay? So this defines the actual width or height, depending on your resize logic, which we're gonna get to. Um, so the actual size is defined here. Now, I don't recommend that you set image quality to be 100%, because this is gonna give you the biggest, largest file size for your image. And really for web, we wanna have smaller images so that our sites download faster, okay? So the lower that you have the percentage for image quality, the lower quality your image is going to be. So depending on your use case and what images you're, you're using, you probably wanna play with this setting to get it exactly right for you know image quality that you can visually see versus the file size, okay? Because the higher the quality, the larger the file size as well. And a lot of times the difference between 90% and 100% is very minimal in terms of the image, visual image quality, but it has a drastic difference for file size. Now I had skipped over resize logic and let's go over this now. So there are three options for resize logic. We have auto, portrait, and landscape. Now auto, which is the default, We'll take the sizes that we've defined as our maximum sizes, and it will apply it to the width on landscape images and to the height on portrait images, okay? Now, if you wanna make sure that you always apply the sizing to the width of an image, you can set the resize logic to be landscape. And conversely, if you wanna make sure that you always make the image sizes apply to the height of the image, you're gonna to wanna to set the resize logic to portrait. So now we're gonna jump over into the edit mode for our content side, and let's look at the gallery content stack. Just like every other CMS stack, we have a gallery ID, a CMS ID that we wanna to tie to uh, the same ID on the admin side, okay? Now for the thumbnail for the gallery, you can choose whether or not you want uh, proportional thumbnails, so basically the actual thumbnail, the full thumbnail, or the square thumbnail. I personally prefer the square thumbnail because it gives your um, galleries a very uniform look and feel, but depending on, on what you're going for, you may want to have the actual full-blown thumbnail uh, displayed. Max images defines the number of images that will be displayed inside the gallery, okay? So here I have it set to 10, and if I have 40 images in my gallery, it will only display 10, okay? And for sorting purposes, you can display which 10, right? So newest first will obviously display the 10 newest images, okay? Oldest will display the oldest images, and shuffle will basically choose 10 images at random, okay? So that's nice. Um, next, we have featured image support, and I'm gonna jump into that in a little bit. We're gonna skip over that for right now. The next option we have is framing our thumbnail. So do you wanna actually have frames around all of our thumbnails? Okay, and do you wanna round those frame corners? Um, top align on mobile is gives you the ability to, when the light box opens for your gallery on mobile, will everything be t aligned to the top of the device or do you want it centered and things of that nature, okay? Um, custom styles allows us to define some custom colors uh, for our light boxed gallery. Okay, um, and then the alignment gives us the ability to, where do we want to align our images in the gallery? Left, right, or do you wanna center them, okay? Next, the sliders here uh, define the number of images that are displayed per row, okay, for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So what you'll notice when I preview this page is that I have four images in a row um, for desktop, and if I shrink this down, it's gonna go to three images per row. And if I go further down to the mobile, it'll display two images per row, okay? But it always displays 12 images. Now let's go ahead and go back and look at this featured image support, okay? What if I only wanted to display four images on my page, but yet I wanted users to see all images in a gallery? So if I turn on featured image support, 
what you will notice is that my gallery is now only showing four images. Okay, so basically it's now gonna obey the uh, sizing that we see here, four images on desktop, three images on tablet, and two images on mobile. However, when we open up the gallery, what you'll notice is that we have access to every image inside the gallery, not just the ones that are displayed on the page. This allows us to give a snippet of what is inside the gallery, but then when the user actually enters into the gallery, they see everything. I have to say this is one of my favorite features of the gallery because it gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of, I only want to display you know, five or 10 images or maybe even one image, okay? And then, you know, light box the entire gallery only when uh, the user clicks on the thumbnail. Very powerful. So now let's jump down and look at the actual slideshow stack. And this is very powerful and easy to use as well. Now, as I said, the slideshows are very tightly coupled to galleries because it does use the gallery. Um, it just displays it in a different way in a slideshow. So if we look at the settings for our slideshow, we see that we have our CMS ID uh, for, of gallery. You can define what image you want to display. So do you want to display a thumbnail or a square or the full resolution image, okay? Max images is obviously um, how many images and sorting is just like we saw with the gallery. You know, we have newest, oldest or shuffle images, okay? Um, the theme, is dark and light. This is basically the theme of the slideshow uh, controls. So do you want light colored or dark colored controls? And basically a lot of the, the remaining settings here are to control the actual slideshow, right? So do we want full width images? Do you want arrows or bullets or caption boxes? Okay. And the caption box will actually pull in the alt tag information from the image and display that as a caption on top of the slideshow. So that's a really nice option. Um, and then we have animation effects for fading or do you want sliding? And of course the animation speeds and whatnot. So as you see here, total CMS galleries are very powerful because they're so flexible, right? The CMS can display the contents as an actual, you know, traditional gallery along with that featured image support, which is really nice. And then we also have the ability to do a slideshow. And like I said earlier, you also have the ability to integrate with external stacks that have support for total CMS galleries. Okay, the first one that we've done right now is our impact stack. And it supports beautiful slideshows and banners and headers and integrates directly into the CMS uh, galleries. So it's very powerful. Now, one thing I want you to think of is in the admin area, as you notice, we had a gallery of images that we can manage. Now, just because you have the ability to display those galleries as a gallery, okay, you could just use them as a generic image depot. So let's say you just wanted a way for a customer to upload images as easy as pie all day long, and then they can quickly get the URL to that image. You can do that so easily with a gallery, okay? Just create an admin gallery Okay, on the admin page, they can upload as many images as they want, and maybe you use those to insert them into a news feed or into text areas, right? So again, just drag and drop an image. They'll then click and get the URL, copy the URL to the image that they can then use in things like their text boxes or in a news feed, right? So there's a lot of other uses uh, for galleries outside of just a gallery. It could be used as just a generic image depot as well. So very powerful. And again, the URL images or the warehouse URLs that the images have should never change, okay? Obviously, if you delete the image from the gallery, um, you are deleting it and then those URLs will obviously become obsolete, okay? But as long as the image exists in the CMS, the URLs that those uh, that are given to you via the admin interface, okay, will never change. So I hope you enjoy galleries. I hope you use them. I hope you love them. I can't wait to see what you do with them and build them and um, can't wait to see your feedback. So thanks everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye.